Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to be moving on from our power-up system and adding some polish to our game. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding some screen shake, and in the next one, we'll be adding particle effects. So as you can see, we'll be adding some exhaust to the ships. There'll be different colors depending on if it's an ally ship or an enemy ship. And we'll also be changing the way everything is kind of exploding. So we're gonna have ship debris, and we're also gonna have asteroid debris. And we'll be doing all of that through particles instead of objects. So let's jump in. The first thing we can set up is just the camera shake. So let's head over to the camera. And this will actually be fairly easy. Uh, we've actually done most of the work already setting up the camera. But all we have to do is add some kind of random value to the position of the camera when we're blowing something up. So the way I'll do this is we're going to have a variable called global.cameraShake. Uh, it'll be zero at the start, but when things blow up, they're going to change this to a positive value. And then what we can do, and I might just organize this a little bit. Set camera position, parallax, and here we'll do the camera shake. All we have to do now is add that camera shake to the global.camera x and y position. So we're going to plus equals. So actually not just global.camera shake, but we want it to be a kind of random range between negative global.camera shake. So whatever it was set to the negative value of that and the positive one. So that now this variable will kind of, when camera shake is larger than zero, it will kind of shake randomly between its negative and positive value, giving it that erratic movement. And we'll do the same for Y. And now all we have to do is make global.camera shake return to zero because we don't want it shaking indefinitely. We want it to gradually get less and less. So we want to subtract and make sure it goes back down to zero. But we don't want it to go lower than zero because as soon as it's lower than zero, this will no longer return a value of zero, right? So if it's zero, then it's a range of zero minus zero to zero. This is not going to do anything. But if it's a positive or a negative number, this is going to return a value and make the camera shake, which is not what we want. So we want to only do this if global.camera shake is larger than zero. And now just to anticipate, if you are using kind of a strange uh, number here to subtract, you might also want to just catch if global.camera shake gets any less than zero, then just go ahead and make it zero. Just in case uh, this number subtracts over the value of zero and then sits in a negative number, this is just gonna make sure that once it gets below zero, it will be zero. All right, so now all we have to do is just set camera shake. So I'm gonna just copy this uh, in the destroy events of the asteroids and the enemies. So let's head over to the parent enemy. And yep, yeah, we can come into the destroy event right here and we can just add global.camera shake and we can set that to, well, any value. What you could also do is set this to different values depending on uh, what object it is. So you could actually like include it in here and set different ones, but I will just keep it at four. Although we might uh, change it for the asteroids just because some of the asteroids are so much larger. So let's go over to the asteroids which are in neutral. And I actually might move a lot of this into the destroy event. Just in, because this is a destroy specific code, it's not necessarily damage. So if we were ever to, I don't know, make the asteroids a little bit harder to destroy, maybe they have HP. I don't really want it doing all of this stuff because it's specific to the destroy. So I'm gonna take that out. And I'm going to cut all of this and move it. So we were in the take damage, we're gonna move it into the destroy. Right, so we're gonna be only adding to the score when it's destroyed, playing the sound, doing all of this stuff and making the debris, which we will be replacing with particles in a moment. But for now, okay, let's add to the camera shake. So global dot camera shake. I'll set it to four for the huge one. For the medium one, I might make that just 
two, I'll halve it. And we don't have a case for the smallest one, so I'm going to add an else. And make that just one. All right. So that is the camera shake setup. Let's run the game and see how that looks. Let's go find something to shoot. There we go. So you can see the camera is shaking when we blow up anything and it's giving it a little bit more oomph. All right, so we'll leave it there for now. In the next tutorial, we'll be finishing off by adding some really cool particle effects to the game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.